Hello friends, today we are going to study about introduction to lines and angles. So first we should know basic about lines and angles. Look here. What is this? This is a point. This. A line. You can see two arrows are given to you at the last. So means we cannot measure the line. Line is always going on and going and going. So we cannot measure line and if two arrows are at the end we can say that it is line. Two end points are there. So when I put two end points or two points in the middle of the line then that part is called line segment. We can measure line segment. And one part I, any ray drawn from a point we can say this is the fixed point but this way it is going on and going on and going on so that is called a array. these are the basic things you should know we cannot measure line it's always going on on both the side we can measure line segment and this is array having a fixed point now two rays together or two line segments also you can say starting from the same point form a angle that is called an angle if angle is between 0 to 90 degree if this angle is between 0 to 90 degree then that angle is called acute angle if it is proper 90 degree right angle it's between 90 to 180 it's obtuse angle now look here if you are having a line this is a straight line so it is forming 180 degree we know this is called straight angle now if you are drawing any ray taking a point on a line you will get two angles this and this and the sum of this two angle is always 180 degree so these two angles are called linear pair of angle a o b and c first of all you should know what to write this angle is called angle a o c or you can write angle c o a and this angle is called b o c or you can say c o b also so here angle a o c plus angle B O C will be equal to 180 degree this is called linear pair of angles you have to use it that's why whenever any straight line is there and you are getting two angles or three angles on a straight line the sum of all the three or four angles on the straight line will be 180 degree that is that is called linear pair of angles now if two lines are intersecting You can say and give name to the line A B and C D and intersecting at O. How many angles are formed? Four angles are formed. A O D, D O C, uh, sorry, D O B, B O C and C O A. Here you will get that these two angles are always equal. And these the remaining two angles are also equal. I am drawing so that you come to know these two angles are equal and these two angles are all equal they are called vertically opposite angle angle AOD equals to angle BOC and angle AOC equals to angle BOD they are called vertically opposite angles now adjacent angles means two angle having a common arm you can say like this means two angles having a common arm then that two angles are called adjacent angle look here a o b and c so we can say angle a o c and angle b o c are adjacent angles 
means they should have a common arm AOC and BOC is having common arm OC so these two are called adjacent angles now supplementary angles actually these are the basic thing you should know before starting line and angles so I am explaining this to you supplementary angles when two angles are having some 180 means if I say one angle is 100 and one angle is 80 so we know the sum of these two angles is 180 so these two angles are called supplementary angles angles or you can say 110 and 70 or any two angle making a sum of 180 are called supplementary angle. again there are complementary angle means if two angles are making a sum of one sorry 90 degree only then they are called complementary angles look here I am giving example 70 degree and 20 degree look here the sum of 70 and 20 is 90 so these two angles are called complementary angles so these are the basic things you should know what is a point a line line segment ray angles name of the angles then add linear pair of angles vertically opposite angles adjacent angles complementary and supplementary angles in my next video i am going to explain you about parallel line and the transversal so that is little bit difficult also and lengthy so i will explain you in my next video thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much